Well, it all comes down to the confession. Joseph Daniel said he killed his son, Joe Clyde, but then he recanted. So the question is, will that confession be allowed at trial? News Channel 5's Nick Barris brings us an exclusive look inside that central question as a key motions hearing continues this week. Make no mistake, that single decision may well dictate guilt or innocence in this high profile case. It is that important and we can expect some heated debate among the attorneys on what will be the second day of this motions hearing tomorrow. This past Sunday marked three years since Joe Clyde Daniels disappeared from his Dixon County home. His father, Joseph, is charged with first degree murder, his mother, Crystal, with aggravated child neglect. At a hearing last week, the judge ruled Joseph will stand trial first. Now the question is, will his confession be allowed as evidence at trial? Detective Trevor Daniels read the chilling admission in open court. Earlier that night, I got woken up by Alex, who told me that baby Joe had peed on the floor. I went in and told them to get their asses in the bed. Baby Joe started laughing, so I beat him. That's when he ran out the front door. Baby Joe ran to the road. I saw a car drive by and then I ran out, got him back in the house. I beat him some more. That's when I killed baby Joe. Joseph Daniels has since recanted his confession and says that he was coerced under lengthy questioning. His five-year-old son's body has never been found. And Joseph's attorney, Jake Lockhart, got TBI agent Joey Boyd to admit there is no physical evidence to corroborate his client's story. Are you aware of any physical evidence that corroborates what he told you in that post-test confession? Uh, <clears throat> specifically relating to blood, DNA, no. So that is the problem for the prosecution. Legal experts say the judge will still likely allow the confession at trial, but the defense will then make the case to the jury that there is no evidence to support it. We will learn much more at tomorrow's hearing, which begins at 9 a.m. I will be there. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.